Now, the University of Cape Town is still the best in Africa. Well, that's according to the Center for World University Rankings. In its 2023 Global 2000 list, UCT is at 267 position, uh, up three places from last year. Now, Harvard University is rated best in the world. Let's speak to UCT Deputy Vice Chancellor Professor Sue Harrison about this achievement. Prof, thank you very much for your time and congratulations on maintaining uh, what looks uh, to be a good education in Africa. Africa. Uh, you know, especially looking at South Africa and some of the news that comes out about uh, how we look in terms of reading for uh, meaning or reading for understanding at foundation phase. Um, what do you have to say as a professor of a university that's uh, considered to be this good? Great. Well, uh, thank you very much and thank you for having me on the show. We're really delighted that we've been ranked at 1.3% of the universities, uh, top 1.3% of the universities ranked uh, by this ranking. Um, obviously, it's really important, uh, just listening to the clip before this, um, around the employability of our students and employability uh, meeting the job market in South Africa. Um, this, the, so the ranking that we are engaged with here, the Center for World University Rankings, focuses on employability as well as our teaching and our research. So we're delighted with that, this ranking. Mm. So what exactly is considered, uh, Prof, uh, through the years for a university to be part of, um, you know, the list in these rankings? Yeah, the different rankings um, and uh, the five major global rankings uh, look at slightly different things. Um, this ranking looks at our education. It looks at our, the employability of our graduates. It looks at our teaching staff and it looks at our research. And it really uh, looks at how our, grad our, how our graduates, how those who have graduated from the university perform mm. um, as, as the central part. So that's the, that is very delighting, delightful that we rank well in this ranking, looking at our, the output of those who have graduated from UCT. Mm. Now, Prof, you know, looking I, at the performance, 267 out of 2,000, that is phenomenal, um, especially in a country where we find ourselves um, going through so many challenges. Do you have any concerns as UCT in terms of the kind of students that you receive from basic education level and how we've been told that basic education in South Africa in terms of quality is deteriorating? Great, I think that's a really, really good question. Um, just to say the ranking puts us at 267 of 20,000. Um, mm. they, they only rank the top 2,000. But going back to the question of basic education, so this is, this is absolutely critical. And what's really important for us at UCT is that once students obviously have met the entrance requirements of the university through their matric, that we can um, work with students from whatever uh, education system that they've come from to really be able to succeed, to be able to reach their potential. And that, that means that the nature of our education must be quite holistic. It must really be able to look for the potential of the students um, rather than assuming the same, um, the same basic education for, for every student. Uh, so that goes to the way that we teach and the way that we um, really look to uh, nurture the potential of, of the student uh, with a lot of work being done on our curriculum right now. Mm, and prof, prof, of course, the other concern would be, um, you know, our statistics when it comes to the unemployment rate in our country. So people would go to a university as good as UCT and possibly uh, leave the country and take those skills to another country because they, you know, even artisans can't find jobs in some instances here. Uh, thanks. And I think that, you know, that, that our, our degrees really do allow our students to be uh, students of the globe which we should celebrate, but mm. at the same time, it's really important that we build our students to be entrepreneurs. We build our students to help to build the next jobs in South Africa, the, the next um, uh, businesses in, in South Africa. And so we increasingly uh, have a stream where we focus on entrepreneurship within all our degree programs, um, that, it's, that it's right there on the ground from the beginning. And we have some really interesting programs allowing students to build their entrepreneurial uh, capabilities and have done really well in the national competitions in this way. So that's part of the changing curriculum is how do, how do, we, build, um, how, how do we build students who when they leave UCT can do far more than just take a job in the, in the corporate world. They can do that, but they mm -hmm. can also build new opportunities for others in South Africa.
Mm. All right, lastly and very quickly, uh, Prof, um, your advice without asking you to share all of your secrets, because I do know that because there's uh, such a list in rankings, obviously universities are in competition with each other. But I mean, we need to help each other, especially in our country. So what is it that UCT does to make sure that you make it um, to such a, a pivotal spot in these rankings? So my advice might be surprising to you. Uh, firstly, I think that in South Africa, it is really important that our universities work in collaboration and not in competition. It's really important that we uh, that we work together to 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 better what we deliver in South Africa. But secondly, I'd like to say that the important thing for UCT is to work based on our value system. We don't chase the rankings. We work based on our value system. We love to be ranked top but we, we must make the decisions on what we think is best for students in South Africa, and that's how we work. Mm. Professor Sue Harrison, UCT Deputy Vice-Chancellor, thank you very much for your time this Saturday afternoon.